In this video, I'll show you how to move your website from one web host to another. And you know, the reason people move their website is because their current host could be slow, it could have a lot of outages, or you could just plain not like the host, or maybe you could get a better price somewhere else. So the first step that you're gonna have to do is find a good web host. So what I recommend is you fire up Google and type in web host reviews. And you know, you look through a couple of pages and you might want to jot down the names that keep popping up towards the top. And once you, you identify the right web host for you, you create an account on their website and you start the process. And I'll show you how to back up your website and how to transfer it over and how to do everything else, like pointing your uh, domain name registration to the new host. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to cPanel and we are going to do a cPanel backup which backs up your website, your email settings, and your database. And it's actually one of the easiest ways to transfer your website. So go to your cPanel, go to the file section, and click on backups. Okay. Now click on download or generate a full website backup okay now click on generate backup and make sure your email address is filled out properly because once the program completes a full backup it'll send you an email and then you could use your favorite FTP program to download the backup file once you have that file you can upload it to your new host and you have to let them know where you place the file usually you put it in the root directory and the new host will restore the backup and actually do all the configurations for you so by doing a cPanel backup and restore process it's, it is one of the easiest ways to move a website okay now I will show you how to export your database and import it into another web host in case you didn't have the cPanel backup option. Before we do this, obviously you have to copy all your files from your public HTML folder to your new public HTML folder on your new host. And this portion of the video will show you how to actually transfer the database. So let's get started. You go into your cPanel on your old host. Under databases, you're gonna select PHP My Admin. Okay, once you're in there, you select your database name. Okay, and now you hit export. I'm just going to select the standard quick method, SQL format, click go, and I downloaded the file. Okay, now this is the same exact file you have to import on your new host. Okay, now we have to find out what the database name and database username is. So open cPanel and scroll down to databases and click on my SQL database. Okay, and notice that the database name is simple 100 underscore jo 152 and the same for the users. And those are the pieces of information that you need because we will have to now import the database on your new host and create the user and database. Okay, now it's time to create the database, create the user. So go to cPanel on your new host, databases, click MySQL databases. Now enter the database name minus JO152 and click create database. Click go back. Now create a database user. Mine will be JO152 again. Give it a password and click create user. Okay, click go back. Now we have to join the user to the database we just created. Select the user, select the database, and click add. Select all privileges and click make changes. Click go back. Now you'll see that your database shows a user associated with it. Now it's time to import the database on your new host. Go to cPanel, Databases, PHP My Admin. Click on the database name. 
click on import and select the SQL file that you previously exported from your old host. Everything should import without a hitch. Now we are going to change your domain name registration to point to the new host name servers. Fire up cPanel, click on domain management. What we have to do is update the name servers. So go ahead and click on update. Now enter the names of the name servers from your new host and click save changes. This can take up to 24 hours to take effect. You can also manipulate your host file to, to point to your new website IP so that you can test to make sure that everything worked properly after you moved your website. Here's how you update the host file on the Windows machine. For Apple computers, check out my other video, how to edit a host file on the Mac. Okay, so fire up Windows Explorer, the window key and E. And we need to go to your C drive, Windows directory, system32, drivers, Etsy. Okay, locate your host file and use notepad or whatever you have to edit it. I have notepad++. plus plus. Okay, so first put in the IP address and then put in the website name. As you can see, I put my information in. And what this is going to do, it's going to use this new IP address, which is of your new host, to resolve to your domain name for your website. As you can see right now, when I just ping my domain name, I'm resolving to the older address. Okay, so I'm going to make these changes. I save them and I'll ping my website again to just verify that the name is resolving to my new host. So let's see. Okay, yep, see it's resolving to the new host. So that's how you change your host file on the Windows machine. And this goes for Windows Vista, XP, and Windows 7. On this last portion of the video, I will show Joomla website users what changes they need to make to a file called configuration.php when moving a website manually. The first one is mosconfig absolute path. This is the absolute server path to your new Joomla installation. It will probably look something like path slash two slash Joomla slash installation. So as you can see, I highlighted mine and you, you just have to change it to where your new website is. Just make sure the directory structure matches your new website. And the same goes for all these other variables like your mosconfig cache path, your mosconfig live site. Actually, that shouldn't change unless you're changing your site name. Uh, your mosconfig underscore host, that I always leave as local host. Your mosconfig database name, that might change if you change the database name. So you might have to change that. Database user, you might have to make sure that's changed as well to reflect the new user you created. And the database password. Um, this is where you put it in, your new password. That's pretty much it. So that's the manual side of Joomla. And that pretty much wraps up this video. I know it was long and uh, maybe a little confusing, but if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me an email. I'll be glad to answer your questions. And subscribe to my channel. I plan on making a lot of great how-to videos on a large assortment of topics. Take care.